New in theaters this weekend, The Predator, A Simple Favor, and White Boy Rick. What will you see? This is your weekend ticket. You know, Earth has been too quiet lately. Let's bring back the best hunters in the universe, said no one ever. But hey, it's happening this weekend and you should check it out. In this newest installment of the Predator series, the alien hunters return, but with super awesome genetic alterations that make them even more better at hunting humans and maybe each other. Lucky for us, the fate of humans lies in the hands of a dysfunctional team of ex-soldiers. Yay! This movie is for you if you often reminisce about the original Predator movies, you're in the mood for some sci-fi action this weekend, or if you have a thing for alien dreadlocks. I don't know your personal life. Blake Lively and Anna Kendrick in one movie? It's like a Gossip Girl Pitch Perfect Universe mashup. A Simple Favor comes out this weekend. Mysterious young mom Emily, played by Blake Lively, and mommy blogger Stephanie, played by Anna Kendrick, become best friends through their kids, but then Emily goes missing. Mystery and intrigue ensue. This movie has a real Gone Girl meets Big Little Lies vibe to it. A Simple Favor is for you if you like dramatic thriller mysteries, you're a fan of Blake Lively or Anna Kendrick, or you think the simple favor of finding your missing friend is on the same level as passing the salt, which can also be complicated depending on the size of the table. Did you hear Matthew McConaughey lost his entire left side? It's okay though, he's all right, all right, all right. <laughs> White Boy Rick comes out this weekend and is based on the true story of Richard Wershey Jr., a 15-year-old who rose to the top of the 1980s Detroit drug scene and became an FBI informant. Talk about multitasking. This movie is for you if you like true crime dramas, Gritty McConaughey is your favorite McConaughey, or you miss the 80s. That is your weekend ticket. What will you see? Check back next week for the house with a clock in its walls. Why is the clock in its walls and not on its walls? You'll have to tune in next week to find out.